Hello and welcome to your fifth tutorial on creating a bricks game with Unity 3D. Now, as of now, our game looks pretty much great. The ball goes and it destroys the bricks whenever it puts and we can also control our player. But it looks dull, so let's go and make it look cooler with this tutorial. So first of all, we have to create a lot of materials to add colors to these things. Okay. So first of all, let us create a folder. Let's create a folder and name it materials so we can add all the materials inside it okay uh, now click on the materials folder and when you're here right click create material now first of all we're gonna create the material for the ball so let's name it ball and as for the color uh, choose whatever color you wanna uh, here is the main color from here select click on it and you can choose whatever color you wanna give it uh, give to your ball. I will give a color like I think this will be good um, Probably this will be good So when you have selected the color uh, Select the material. Here's the material ball now click on it and drag and drop it on the scene view on the ball Okay, now when you if you drag and drop it on the ball the ball will get this material automatically So you have don't, you don't have to assign it differently. I think the ball looks great now let's make a material for the paddle. Let's name it paddle. And as for the color of the paddle, I think uh, red would be great. So let's uh, take a good shade of red. So drag and drop it to the paddle again. Ah, that looks awesome. Now for the boundaries, uh, let's select something like brown or something name it boundaries let's assign it okay uh, first of all let's select the colors I will select a color like I think uh, where is the brown I don't know what looks good I think this will look good yes this is a shade of orange and I think a little bit of brown I think this will look great so now we have to assign this to three of these boundaries. So one by one to this, to this, and to this. Wow, it looks great now. Now we're gonna give a background because the background looks just dull. So let's uh, give a background picture so that it looks great. Now you can select whatever picture, but I'm gonna give it a picture that I have already selected, uh, a scenery like this. I'll probably add this in the description link so you can download this with all the scripts from the tutorial there. So uh, click on the picture and just drag and drop it inside your assets folder. Inside the assets. Okay. So drag and drop it inside the assets. So once you have done that, it will be available here. Okay. This is here. So. Uh, from here, let's drag and drop it on our scene view or here. As you can see, it has come and the background looks great. Let's name it background. Okay, now it has renamed background. But as you can see, the background has come in front of everything and everything has just got hidden. So, in order to get rid of that, we have to push the background back. Okay, push the background back. But since it's a 2D game, so we cannot do that in manual way. So what you can do is, while selecting the background, from here, transform component, from the position, let's make the Z value bigger. It's zero now, so let's make it two. So when you do it two or just increase the value, it will go backwards and everything will come forwards. So now it looks awesome, our game looks awesome now. So now it's time to create awesome bricks. All the bricks sucks. So just delete all those and create new ones. Uh, let's first of all make a folder called prefab. Make a folder named it prefab. Okay. So now inside this prefab folder, we'll store all of our bricks. Now, if you remember, we have already created a brick. So let's drag this brick into the prefab folder. Now click on the prefab folder and we have currently, let's make it bigger. Okay, now we have currently only one brick. Let's assign a color to it. 
Oh, let's assign. Oh shit. Okay. First of all, let's create a material for the bricks. Okay. Uh, from from our materials folder, click on the materials folder, and from your create uh, create material. Name it brick one. Now I think you guys are wondering why am I naming it brick one? Because we are making we are going to make bricks of different colors. We're going to make bricks of yellow, red, blue, and green colors. So everything looks great. So let's uh, make it yellow. I think yellow. This much yellow will look good. I think. Mm, okay. I think this should look good. And this should look good. Next, create another material and name it Brick 2. Brick 2. For this, let's select the color blue. Blue bricks. Let's select the color blue from here. Oh wow, the blue looks really great. Now let's create brick three. Oh, we don't have to create brick three because we already have green and red created for the ball and the paddle. We'll add this to that. So first of all, let's create a prefab. We have already created a prefab called bricks. Now inside the when you click the bricks prefab brick prefab let's name it one let's name it brick one let's name it brick one since we are going to create four bricks so let's name it brick one now let's go and duplicate these bricks into four so that we can have different bricks so control d to duplicate press control d and you have a new brick just rename it brick two okay and then control d and it will automatically be renamed brick three Again, press Ctrl D, and it will be automatically named Brick Four. So now we have four types of bricks. So now let's add different type of colors to these things so that um, they look different. Now, when you click a brick, here you will see a component called Mesh Renderer. Within the Mesh Renderer, here's something called Materials, and here is a uh, triangle. So when you click on the triangle, the material just expands, and it says Size and Element Zero. So when you click on the element zero, here you will see a circle. So when you uh, click on the element zero of materials, you will get the list of materials available. So from here, we'll give the bricks one the yellow shade, yellow shade. Okay. So click here, right. Now brick one got yellow shade. Now let's give brick two a different color. For brick two materials, element zero. For brick two, let's give uh, blue. For brick three, let's give green. And for brick four, uh, let's give red. Okay. Now we have four kind of bricks. Now we can add those bricks in the in the I'm sorry in the environment and just we can just drag and uh, drag those things whatever we want however we want. So let's add these bricks here. Couple of it. How much you want? Whatever you want. Just add those bricks here, scatter those, and the beginning will look great. Now I have added all those types of bricks here. Now just, just select one, click on the select tool, I mean click on the move tool, and just move it wherever you want. Next brick, click, select, move. Next brick, click, select, move. Another brick, click, select, move. Another brick, click, select, move. So this is how we got all the bricks here. So these bricks look great. Now let's just keep those here and just duplicate those to make another row of bricks. Okay. So first of all, I'm gonna select all those bricks and okay, I think I am gonna keep those in rows. Okay. Let's go and select all the bricks. Let's go and select on the bricks from transform component. Let's from the position of Y, uh, let's make let's keep all of those at five. Oops, uh, ten. I think two will be good. Okay, two or three will be good. So select all these bricks and from the from here, select all those bricks. 
and when you select the arrow key here we can you can move all those bricks okay so click the arrow key and move all the bricks uh, now you can scatter those by whatever you however you want now let's make a couple of copies for with other bricks now let's duplicate this and place it here and move it a bit from here okay uh, I think this looks great now let's click all those bricks and press ctrl D to duplicate all of these at once ctrl D and now just drag it up and you have a new layer now again press ctrl D drag it up and you have another new layer now our game looks really like bricks so let's go and play test it click play I think it should work and yes the game looks great oops I just I just got uh, oh it's very hard to play actually right now let's try one more time oops <laughs> okay so now we have just added color to our game and it's almost ready so in the next video we'll just uh, give a uh, give a mechanism so that it detects when the ball fails and it reloads this level okay so we want this level to reload it when the ball fails and we want to show you win when you just uh, kill all the bricks I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and like and share comment if you have any questions thank you very much